I want to take a quick look at a Comtech EF Data CDM625 modem because there are a couple of catches with this modem. Good modem, but on the face of it, there may be less available than it looks like. Now let's just look at the back of this modem. One thing you'll notice on this is that it offers 70 megahertz and L-band output. But that may not necessarily be true. I mean, certainly it is an option, but if it hasn't been purchased from the factory, then one of those options is not going to work. So again, this is a case where you've really got to see what is on a particular modem. This is a brand new modem. So let's take a look and see what's in here. As you know, I like to use hypertone. In this particular case, I'm just going to look at the front panel. And well, let me just go back to clear. It says on here, TPC, turbo, and CNC is present. Yes, CNC is present, at least the board is there. It doesn't necessarily mean that the license is there. Let's go and have a look. Fast is normally the area that we look at to see what's in a particular modem. Going to look at options. The options. Now, it's a 5 meg modem. It does have turbo and LDPC installed. Nice options. But, carrier in carrier is not installed. So, that's something to watch for. Uh, VersaFec, 8PSK, AQAM also installed. No 16 quam. Drop an insert. Quad. Drop an insert. Not. Now, L band is not installed on this one. It's a fast option, so it can be installed simply by paying Comtech EF data. They'll send us the code, and then we can install or activate the L band feature. Now, header compression. Uh, this would only be available if this had the Ethernet card. It obviously doesn't have the Ethernet card because, again, we're looking at payload compression. All of these items are relevant to Ethernet. And again, it just report, repeats the fact that uh, carrier in carrier is not installed. And there we are, we've been all the way through now. Because this is potentially an L-band modem, it also has the options available for buck power supply. In this particular case, just look at it and we'll say, nope, it's not in store. So, and again, that makes a lot of sense. This is 70 megahertz only, and so there's no point in having a buck power supply installed on this. So the takeaway from all of this is, if you want to buy one of these modems and then make sure what you need is actually on the modem. So that concludes our look at the Comtech EF Data CDM625 modem.